Cherry. And I'm Olive. So last time there was no visitor, eh? So maybe this time there'll be a visitor. Mm, yeah. You're right. I don't see a visitor. I'm gonna go check. Okay. Ten minutes later. Couldn't find any Olive. Okay. So, today we're reading Frog and Toad, Our Friends. The last story we did was called Spring. It's Spring. If you didn't watch that video, please watch it right now. Give it a like and a subscribe. But today, we're going to be watching we're going to be reading the next story called, wait, the story? All right. We said that in the last video. Yeah, yeah, sorry. All right, <laughs> today we're going to be reading the story, the story. Today we're going to be reading the story. <laughs> okay, let's start reading the story. One day in summer, Frog was not feeling well. Toad said, Frog, you are looking quite green. But I always look green, said Frog. I am a frog. Today you look very green, even for a frog, said Toad. Get into my bed and rest. Toad made Frog a cup of hot tea. Drank, frog drank the tea, and then he said, Tell me a story while I am resting. All right, said Toad. Let me think of a story to tell you. Toad thought and thought, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. I will go out on the front porch and walk up and down, said Toad. Perhaps that will help me think to think of a story. Toad walked up and down on the porch for a long time, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Then Toad went into the house and stood on his head. Why are you standing on your head? asked Frog. I hope that if I stand on my head, it will help me think to think of a story, said Toad. Toad stood on his head for a long time, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Then Toad poured a glass of water over his head. Why are you pouring water over your head? asked Frog. I hope that I, if I pour water over my head, it will help me to think of a story, said Toad. Toad poured many glasses of water over his head, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Then Toad began to bang his head against the wall. Why are you banging your head against the wall? asked Frog. I hope that if I bang my head against the wall hard enough, it will help me think to think of a story, said Toad. I am feeling much better now, Toad, said Frog. I do not I do I do not think I need a story anymore. Then you get out of bed and let me get into it, said Toad, because now I feel terrible, Frog said. Would you like me to tell you a story, Toad? Yes, said Toad, if you know one. Once upon a time, said Frog, there was two good friends, a frog and a toad. The frog was not feeling well. He asked, his friend, the toad, to tell him a story. The toad could not think of a story. He walked up and down on the porch. But he could not think of a story. He, he stood on his head, but he could not think of a story. He poured water over his head, but he could not think of a story. He began, he banged his head against the wall. He did not think of a story. He, 
but he could not think of a story. Then the toad did not feel so well, and the frog was feeling better. So the toad went to bed, and the frog got up and told him a story. The end. How is that, Toad? Said Frog. But Toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep. The end. Thank you for reading with us. Please subscribe and like, please. Thank you for watching. And please watch our next video, The Lost Button. Ooh, whose lost button is it? Where was it? What do they find? That we will read in the next video. Please join us. Thank you. Bye. Bye.